Now we're going to talk about how you can remotely access and control client devices in order to solve complex customer issues with ConnectWise Control paired with the Corona Cyber Cloud. I'm going to show you how to find, install, and enable the Acrona Cyber Cloud plugin for ConnectWise Control. With this plugin, you'll have the ability to remotely install and update agents, choose from, and apply protection plans, as well as view critical alerts for your systems. First, from the administration pane, you will select your extensions. From the extensions, you'll browse the online extensions and search for Acrona Cyber Cloud. Once you've installed the Acrona Cyber Cloud plugin, you'll have the option to configure the settings. Within the settings, you'll need to set your data center URL, uscloud.acronis.com, and then set your client ID in secret. This can be generated from the Acrona Cyber Cloud console. From the API clients, create API client here. Type in the name you would like to give it. From here, copy out your credentials. Make sure to save it in a safe place. From here, you take your secret, go over to control, and provide it. Now, save that, and once you have saved it, you can then move in and start setting up configurations for your control sessions. Within Access, you'll see a list of all of the systems that you have control sessions with. Now you'll see the iconic Acronis A show up and the ability to deploy the Acronis Cyber Protection Agent. From here, you have the ability to configure customers that you have already set up within Acronis Cyber Cloud. You can use an existing Acronis customer, or you can create a new Acronis customer from the ConnectWise console itself. Create the customer name, login, email, password. You can also enable two-factor authentication so that when they log in, they must utilize the TOTP Authenticator app to log in for future sessions. You can specify which backup edition or cyber protect edition they will be utilizing, whether that is protecting standard systems, advanced workloads, needing disaster recovery abilities to fail over to the Acronis cloud. You can also toggle different services such as file sync and share and notary. Once you deploy that agent, you can then set up protection plans that have already been applied by default, such as entire machine to cloud, or you can set up additional cyber protection plans where you can enable things like active protection. Once the Acronis agent has been deployed, as I said, you can view general info on the client, see the agent that's been deployed, see the backup status, and you can see clear critical alerting that may occur from the Acronis agent. Now, if you need to provide any additional services to your customer, such as granular level restoration, VM restore, DR failover, simply click go to Cyber Protection Console. This will log you in to your Cyber Protection Console. As you'll see here, it's asking us for our 2FA verification code. You'll see when we log in, it presents us with a nice graphical overview of what's going on within our environment. You'll see the exact same alert shows right here. Protection plan has no quota. This is just to show you what type of alert it can show up from the Acronis tab over into the console of ConnectWise.